today we're making babka, but not any kind of babka, strawberry cheesecake babka. Amazing. <laughs> uh, what is a babka? So a babka is a rich bread that's twisted up with a filling, then braided, popped into a pan, and you get the most beautiful looking and tasting bread you've ever imagined. So we're gonna get started with that. I use a brioche dough for my babka, which is an enriched dough. So it's got milk, eggs, little sugar in there, um, and it's super delicious. So let's get started. In here, I've got two and a quarter cups of flour. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of yeast. This time we're just putting the yeast straight into the dry ingredients, easier than having to uh, do that little foaming part at the beginning. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of sugar. Three. One teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna give this a quick little stir so we get all the yeast incorporated into the flour and then just like that, easy peasy. We're gonna add a third of a cup of milk. I've just warmed this up so it's not super cold. And three eggs. And then we're gonna mix this with our dough hook for probably about six minutes until it's a soft, supple dough. And then we throw warm butter into it slowly, um, giving us that super delicious, soft, silky bread dough. So I'm gonna get that mixing and then once we get to the butter part, we'll be back. All right, it's been six or seven minutes and if you can see our dough ball is not sticking to the sides of the bowl. Um, it looks pretty nice and soft here. Um, so we're gonna start adding in our butter. So with this turned on, you're gonna have two thirds of a cup of butter and you wanna make sure it's nice and soft and then cut it into little pieces and just slowly throw them in. And you want to kind of let it incorporate into your dough before you add your next little butter chunk. This is going to take a little bit of time, uh, but you're basically kneading the butter into your dough one piece at a time. And then once that's all incorporated, we're going to put it in a greased bowl with a lid for an hour or so to let it rise and rest before we roll it out. So I'm gonna keep going with that. I'll show you what it looks like once all the butter is in. All right, we've got all of our butter mixed in. You can see it's kind of all sticky looking now. That's okay though, because that's just from all the butter we put in there. So we're gonna pop that off. And like I said, I'm gonna put that into a greased bowl with a lid. We'll let it sit there for about an hour. Um, it should kind of double in size at room temperature. Let's see, a little sticky, but that's perfect. Um, and then we'll roll it out. So we'll see you in a few minutes. This is our before. All right, while our dough is proofing, we're gonna work on our filling. So we're doing strawberry cheesecake. So we need a cheesecake filling. So I've got a half a cup of cream cheese softened here. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sour cream for a little tang. I've added a pinch of salt already. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. And then I'm just gonna stir this up together and then I'll leave it at room temperature because we want it to be soft when we put it into our babka dough. So just stir that up. And then for the strawberry part, I'm just gonna use some strawberry jam. So I have some strawberry vanilla bean jam that I made a year or two ago. So I'm gonna use that. You can definitely use homemade jam or if you wanna cook down some strawberries and sugar until it's thick in a pot, that'd be good too. Awesome. <laughs> so this is all ready to go. We just needed to mix it together, make sure it's soft so we can spread it out on our dough without tearing the dough up. Um, and then yeah. We're just waiting on the dough now. So our dough has risen. It's actually been about an hour and a half. My house is pretty cold today. Um, so I'm gonna dump it out onto a floured surface. Awesome, a little more flour on top. And then we're gonna roll it into a large rectangle. Look how yellow and buttery it looks. 
That's a sign of a delicious brioche. Awesome, so I'm just gonna lightly roll this guy out to a rectangle. This is a very wonky rectangle, but that's okay. This looks good. And then I'm gonna take our cream cheese mixture and put all that on there. and smear that across the whole thing, just leaving a little bit of an edge, usually about one inch on the end there. Make sure you cover the whole thing because you don't want to have any bites without cream cheese in it. Gorgeous. Awesome, and then I've got um, this strawberry jam that I made, but like I said, you can use just store-bought jam. Any flavor, if you wanna switch up the flavor. I just wanna get a nice layer on top of this. See how much we need here. Again, make sure you cover the whole thing. You want everyone to get a bite of strawberry. That looks really good. Perfect. And then just like a cinnamon bun, gonna roll it up here. So starting at the end closest to you and just working that dough into a large wormy shape. It's a nice soft dough. Perfect. Okay, so we got to the end there and then we just wanna Kind of seal in that seam. And this would be really good with like a cinnamon bun filling as well. I actually use this dough to make my cinnamon buns. Okay, now the fun part. We're gonna cut this in half so you can see all that swirl bits. So I don't know if this is the <laughs> best knife. Maybe I'll use a Use this giant knife. Okay. It's a little sticky. Okay. Perfect. So just unattach them from each other. Oops. It's a little messy. Perfect. Okay, and now we're gonna braid it. And by braid, we're just gonna be twisting the dough on top of each other. So like that, pinch those ends, this side over, then this side over. Keep going. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> Now we're gonna squash it into a pan. I'm just gonna grease this. And then as nicely as I can, get it into here. Which is going to be a little messier. Looks a little wonky right now, but it's gonna be beautiful. So. Just gonna let this sit at room temperature, put a saran on top and let it proof. Our babka's risen for about an hour and a half, all fluffed up there. So I'm gonna pop it in a preheated 350 degree oven. It's probably gonna take about 45 minutes, but it'll be nice and golden brown. So I'll see you then. So our delicious babka has baked here. I've just stirred together about a tablespoon of apricot jam with a little warm water to thin it out. And I'm gonna paint that on top as a glaze. You don't have to do this, it just adds a little shimmer. And then your beautiful loaf is all done. And this guy looks super awesome when you cut it. It's just molten hot right now, so I can't. But I'll put it on my stories once I can slice it. You can see how awesome it looks on the inside. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow.